Well, hello, hello. This is another installment of what Dave does and figure stuff out while you're at work. Yeah, while you're at work, I'm in the Jetty Wolf figuring stuff out. And I have just come upon a wonderful revelation. This fish bag that I bought years ago and I absolutely love because I found a great spot for it. I mentioned it in a different video, an earlier video, but here's what I'm doing with it. I'm hanging it right there. That is my Australian mini chiller fish bag. And it hangs right here. That's one of my little posts that I hang my fenders from. And it hangs right here on my rapid storage strap dealy. And it stays out of the way. And I can get rid of it really easy by throwing it up in there. Here's the deal. I'm looking around because you know I'm always revamping everything. Serious revampage. And I was up here cleaning out my anchor locker and just doing some tidying up and stuff like that because I rescheduled today for 20 plus knot wins. Yes, that's the life of a fishing guide. You never know in the winter when you're actually going to make any money. What I was doing is I went to blue bottle fishing in Australia. That's where I got the mini chiller fish bag. So the way they they make this was really appealing to me because it's got this flat bottom and this is exactly how it would lay on the boat. The only bag that stands up straight, it's shaped like this. It's not one of these just envelope things that just flop over. This bag will stand up straight. I don't have it standing up straight right now, but it will. So then I'm looking around on the internet. I'm a professional finder. To make a long story short, I found a company out in Destin, Florida called eat my tackle. I see that they're making a fish bag now and it just so happens to look exactly like this one. Has the same dimensions. This one here is 40 inches long basically overall and 20 something inches long and I like that it can be folded and shoved away and I like the fact that it's got lots of straps. And lo and behold, it's on Amazon. So I went and ordered one. I went and ordered one for this side. So I can hang another bag right there because I am trying to save weight. I have taken my usual cooler here, my icy tech, and then I put this in. Okay, to hold it up. Well, now I am putting fish there. But the point of this whole thing is, is this fish bag is the absolute cat's behind. And I wanted another one. Well, you have to pre-order these. He doesn't have any. Or I would order another one right off of us from Australia for about the same price, I can get it for about the same price as the ones that I found that Eat My Tackle has on Amazon. So I ordered it and I put it on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. If you're looking to get away from fish boxes, coolers, cleaning out coolers, because I have to admit, I was never a fish baggy kind of guy but boy, I'll tell you, it sure is easy just to take, clean the fish while they're in here, 
just take the ice, dump it over the side, stick the bag in the water, wash it out, boom, hang it back up to dry. It's a done deal. Maybe spritz it out with some fresh water when I get home. So fish bags do have their merit. And you say to yourself, well, Dave, why do you need a second one? Well, I like spares. And I'm going to have another one over here that I can keep ice in. Or I can put, you know, dry goods like people's sandwiches. And I can save this just for things that we want to keep cold. Because what I've been doing is I've been stacking this level with ice. That holds a good amount of crushed ice. And a little bit of ice over here with some drinks. You can see I got some drinks down in there right now. And then as we catch fish, I throw them in here, let them chill out after I usually dispatch them with a thump, if you know what I mean. Then I take an ice scoop. I take my ice scoop and then I put some ice in this bag. So that's what I've been doing. I'm getting away from carrying. I had that 200 quart cooler up here. It was good. People would sit on it and I'd be <coughs> so bow heavy that I'd be pushing into waves and stuff. And it was sort of a pain. So now I still have a seat for two up here. Back here, I used to have the cooler sitting back here. I used to have that same cooler back here. Nobody sat on it. Everybody just sits right here on the gunnel. I didn't have my boat built to lose this ballroom dancing back here. See all this ballroom dancing? I want space. That is my biggest pet peeve. And with that fish bag up there, not even on the deck, and maybe even another one over here, I kind of can't wait. I will be doing a review of it. I'm putting it on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. And I will be doing a review of their bag up against the mini fish chiller that I have from Australia. They're getting them built all in the same place. We all know where everything's coming from. So uh, there you go. That is something that's just an update on a product. That thing, I've had five drum in it. Okay, I've had five drum in that thing already. A couple sheep's head. Now with fish bags, what you want to do is you really want to sort of dispatch Mr. Sheep's Head. You just don't want to take him green as grass and throw him in your fish bag because those weapons that he has on his back, he'll just puncture your fish bag. So there you go, maintaining the space in the boat. We don't do a lot of fishing up here. People sit up here to get out of the sun. Um, they do sit up there and they fish off out of here. They still got a seat to sit on right here, fish out there. A lot of people sit right up there and they fish out of there. But I just wanted to give you a heads up that while you're at work, I am looking for streamlining my operation constantly. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And all the links will be below because I've already put that Eat My Tackle fish bag on my tools of the trade page it's 40 inches long holds plenty of fish holds plenty it's like 70 quart or something whatever if you were to fill it up full of water and i'll put the link to the original video i did about the mini fish chiller while i was talking about the yeti hoppers and all that stuff so i guess you could say my hobby is tweaking things but it's funny that I have a video about that already, and now somebody else came out with one, and I'm going to be able to do a video about it. As the wind is blowing here in Jacksonville, Florida, keep my fingers crossed that tomorrow I can actually get out with two guys and two guys later in the week. So, there you go. I'll see you on the next one.